Hi guys, Luke from Lucas Cars, and today we're going to be custom making, custom making ish, fabricating a back box for the 350. So, this is the standard back box that we've got. As you can see, it's kind of like the. It's a back box, but it's not really doing a lot because it's, it's a five inch with a substantial tip, which I think is four and a half, I want to say, ish. Um, so, basically, the new one we're going for is a six inch with a three inch diameter. That's three inch as well inside there. Um, and then we've also got some pie cut bits, which I'm going to use as a tip. Um, but to start things off, I'm going to chop the flange off, weld that onto there, and then basically weld the pie cuts together and then weld that on. Shouldn't be awful. I'm very fresh to welding. If you've seen the last video is where my attempt to welding began. So this will also be questionable, but we're here for a learning experience. So enjoy. Okay, so just to update you where we are, I've kind of jumped the gun slightly, not necessarily recorded all the bits. Um, the flange we cut off of the grinder pretty self-explanatory, and we've welded it on questionably. Um, it's the first thing I've actually welded together properly. Um, it's kind of been a bit dodgy because there's like these ridges that you can see on here. So where the flange sat against that, there was little holes, so it made it a little bit awkward for my inability to sort of get it to look right. Um, I just kind of did a couple layers of weld and then I've just put, put it on top of where there might have been little bits I've missed. So it should be okay, I'd like to think. It's strong, but it's just obviously, you don't want any air leaking out, which hopefully the putty should seal that basically. Uh, I've done the tip as well. Uh, that was also a nightmare to do, um, just because it's awkward, because I don't have like a vice or anything to work off. So it's kind of working on the floor and trying to tack well with it and then go around and it was just a bit tricky because not really used to it. But this is where we're at. Alex has done some sanding out to make it a little a little bit more presentable um, and now we're basically just going to be attaching it you know, attack weld it on and then you can watch the the live process of how my uh, current ability of welding is which is questionable but as we do it more we'll get better um, and there'll be the hanger um, but I'm going to do the hanger once it's on the car just so I know it's not in the wrong place but we we'll get this done and then we'll basically try and mount it I suppose so yeah So guys, um, this is kind of where we've got with like our end result really with the back box. Um, it doesn't look the prettiest thing in the world, um, but I kind of wouldn't expect it to with it obviously being my first attempt to weld and stuff properly. Um, as you can see though, um, it's quite like a little stubby thing. Um, it does sit more in the car than what the old one does, mainly because the tip's obviously a short thing compared to the old one that sticks out quite far, which is sort of what I wanted to kind of keep the sound in a little bit. Um, so I did some welds around here, then we've also put like this putty stuff on it as well just to seal any little holes that I might have missed. Um, and then also it's the same on the front as well just in case, just because my welds aren't amazing. Um, we've kind of cleaned it up a little bit just to try and make it look a little bit more presentable. But it, it's, yeah, it, it, it works is the main thing I would say. Well, I say that, I've not tried it yet, but visually it seems like it's welded it. Um, it was quite tricky to be fair, um, I'm not going to pretend it was easier, obviously you can tell I've had a bit of a mare with it, but now anyway, enough of me judging myself and my abilities and whatnot, 
uh, we're gonna put it on the car, which you can tell it's not got a hanger on currently, which obviously that's the next thing to do. Do do do. Just put the camera down there. Stand that up. Um, so using the old hanger that was already on the car, which obviously is here, we've put that back there. That isn't hasn't just been chilling there, chopped off. Um, so we're going to mount the exhaust onto the flange, and then basically when it's in position, weld that to it. The main reason for this, on my limited expertise, is that it will line up properly then rather than welding that onto there, onto the back box with it not on because I don't trust myself that I'll get it correct and I'll just feel like that I'll be out of place and there'll just be a nightmare to chop it off and do it again sort of thing. So the bolt on first, I'm using M12 bolts so that how long they are, I would say they're maybe 50s, I don't know, but it doesn't really matter anyway. Put them on. I will use some sort of sealant in here when I've actually got it because it did have some on before. But just for mocking it up, it would be pointless to put sealant on because it'd be coming on and off. So I'm gonna get it set up. I'll get a little tripod set up so you can kind of see what I'm doing, and we'll give it a go. Really, it's gonna be tricky, but it's, that's all part of the process. I uh, understand the visibility might be quite tricky for you guys, and but I'll try my best so you can kind of see what's cracking off. This bit should be pretty simple anyway, because it's just literally just putting uh, some bolts on, so we'll see. I've jacked the car up more now as well, so it's like, should be easier to get to. And I think I'm going to tack weld it onto the hanger first, um, and then I'll possibly try and take it off and then do it properly, not on the car, because I think that might be a bit easier. I can't get the bolt through that way. Oh. It's not a big deal. Get the other way on it. There we go. Hopefully they're not too long. That was a pain. <laughs> Just awkward, really. Right, so we are lined up-ish. So this is where it sits anyway. This is, I guess, your first time seeing it with my poor camera skills. Um, it literally just tucks in just behind the bash bar-ish, um, which is what I wanted because the last exhaust caught when I hit the tire wall once with the back. Um, and then it obviously moves the whole system because obviously it's sticking out and it's all connected. So not ideal, really. Um, you can see the hanger's pretty close, though. All I've got to do is yes, bring you in a little bit so you can see what we're looking at. Is basically just bring her, she has wiggle room in her, so bring her across. So I think it'll just be push and then tack. Um, I might just have to grind that so it's a maybe a better shape because it's not really that good to be honest. Just don't want to lose the range because it is quite far away. Um, let me have a think, I'm going to debate how I'm going to do this, because this might be... Eh. I'm going to grind it slightly, see if it'll sit better, but we'll give it... Yeah. Not just no, because I don't know how much electricity is going through all that. I mean, I'll try it, but... I guess you're assuming to attack it first. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Wasn't bad. So here we are all mounted up pretty much. Um, I left it on in the end to actually do the hanger sort of welding because I felt like I got enough on it without it basically needing to come off. I kind of wobbled it about and stuff. I know it's not the best way to necessarily test it but I thought it was suitable knowing that it wasn't going to fall off. I mean if it does it does but I think it will be okay. Uh, you can see my questionable welds but it's 
it's there. Do you know what I mean? I think it'll be fine. Um, and then also the other thing I had to do as well was where the, the seal bit is there. It's a little bit dark, so I apologise. So there's more of that stuff on there, which is like the, the sealing. Basically just put that in between the two flanges. So it should create enough of a seal, just because obviously if that doesn't work, then that won't be great. Oh, we've got some fancy lighting in. We've gone over budget now with this video, but you can kind of see what we're looking at a little bit better now. But yeah, there she is, the end product. Obviously, the main thing now is obviously sound test, which is the more interesting part, I guess. Um, because we don't know what it's going to be like. Obviously, it's only a back box, so it's not going to be massive change. But with a down tip and it being a bigger like physical box itself, it should be quieter, which is what we're aiming for for track regulation. So I guess we jump to that now and kind of see what we're playing with. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's give it a go. Okay. Killing me. Oh. Bang! Ah. Drum roll! I think it's deep and deep. The floor is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So guys, that was our basic take on trying to do a back box in a car. Uh, it seems to be fine, doesn't seem to be any leaks, even though Lewis thought he could see one, but we disagree. Um, it's hard to gauge on the sound properly. Obviously, it's probably also tricky for you guys, obviously, over a video. Um, but I don't want to rev it stupidly just because of the time and stuff, don't want to upset people in the local area. Um, but. I think it's deeper, but it sh should be quieter in logical sense because it's a bigger box and it's a down tip and the tip is slightly smaller as well than what the one was on previously. So uh, I guess the only way we'll know is if we get moaned up when we go to the track again. Uh, theoretically, it should be better though because it's a down tip and it faces down. So I'm hoping it's all good. 
um, and hopefully we won't get told off. But yeah, uh, that's all for this video anyway. Hopefully it was an enjoyable watch. Definitely a bit of a learning curve for me and Alex as well that got involved with it. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching.